Hello everybody, Adam Kilgore here for Outdoor Analytics and I thought I'd take this time to do a, a quick review on some of the new offerings for 2018 from First Light. Uh, 2018 was a big year for First Light, several new pieces, I believe over 30 new pieces of gear released by them uh, in several of their lines and while their wool line they've had a, a little delay on that, uh, they sent out what they had uh, so far from their 2018 line and I have a couple of the pieces I wanted to review on here. I'll start out with this review, um, I guess by saying in 2018, um, First Light announced that they were going to revamp the sizing of their gear um, to make it more uniform across the board, and I believe they have with that. Uh, on all the pieces of gear here you see will be size extra large. Um, you, last year, I was kind of in between that large, extra large size. I am uh, just a shade under six foot, so 5'11" two to 270 pounds somewhere around there I bounce around and um, I guess this is a this is an extra large so uh, you know I I guess body type wise you'll have to kind of play around with that a little bit which is one of the reasons I do this review since uh, first light went to a direct consumer model it's kind of hard to try these on at a it's impossible to try these on at a store so you have to kind of to guesstimate um, and, and try and trial and error so 511 um, 200 205 right around that you know i'm i'm not uh, i'm not the rock but i'm not a stranger to the gym either so they're i guess a semi-athletic body type i don't know how you want to say that but uh, anyway this is uh this is their gear so the first piece i'm going to do uh review here is the klamath and i hope i'm saying that right grid fleece this is the um the replacement for the halstead so the Halstead last year I wore a size large. This is an XL, fits very well. Um, perfect, you know, fits even better than the large of last year. Cut very similar though, um, besides the, the difference in sizing, but the overall cut is similar. Still has the one uh, chest pocket up here. So it's a fleece on the inside, but fairly quiet on the outside. Um, very quiet on the outside, I should say. It is a hoodie, as opposed to the, the Halstead was um, was a non-hoodie, was a, a zip-up, and they offer that same thing in this. But this one, I, I like hoodies when I'm hunting. Uh, obviously, I'm bald, and you know I'm susceptible to wind, cool wind blowing on the back of my head. So I, I like a hoodie, even if it's not up. It creates this uh, this windbreak, if you will, for the back of my neck and back of my head, which uh, seems to be what gets cold very quickly on me. Arm length, um, you know, it can It's a tiny bit long for me. I guess if I stretched out here, tiny bit long, but not bad at all. And if you were six, um, six foot, or maybe had a little longer arms, you, it'd be perfect. So it fits well. Um, it's treated to uh, to reduce the odor, but it's not wool, just like they said at the Halstead. After a while, it will get. Uh, it'll start to smell like in, in not excessively. Not nearly as much as your your Under Armour synthetics, but um, it will, you know, it won't be naturally um, anti-odor like like wool will. So this wouldn't be my first choice for an extended week out in the middle of nowhere backcountry hunt, but for general hunting, I, I think it'd be great. I will wear this piece um, early season. I will wear it um, in the tree stand. And I would wear it for most of my hunts um, out west or or anything like that. Um, that you know, I'm not living on the, in this for for a week at a time. The hood, like all of First Light's hoods, one thing they one of the things they do exceptionally well is create these hoods and uh, you know, allows you to zip up and really block a lot of the wind. The hood articulates well, so you're not blocked out. You're not looking at your hood fits well around the head so I really like that um, it's a very simple piece uh, fleece is something offered by most companies but they do it like like everything first light does they do it they put the time into it and they do it well so this is the Klamath uh, grid fleece you know it, it's perfect for those uh, cool but not cold um, October afternoons that's what I'll probably wear it in and uh, I think I'll end this video here. I'll start a new one and not make it too long on the Catalyst soft shell. Uh